I really hope that you like spooky themes for October, because that is what I have to show you today. And this one is for my self-care bullet journal. And I'm starting off with my trusty stencil to write the name of the month. And I'm outlining it in black. And I'm actually going to be filling it in with gold, because that is going to be matching the rest of my theme. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. After I've done that, it was time to start decorating the spread. And I'm just using some washi tape for that with some bones on it. And I thought that that was very appropriate for Halloween, and it went very well with the kind of somewhat vintage somewhat skeletal, spooky theme that I had in mind for this particular setup. And I'm just adding that kind of underneath the title on the uh, bottom right portion of that particular spread, just to kind of get my decorating started. And I'm also adding more washi tape to the spread, of course, because if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that washi tape is my favorite form of stationery, so I tend to use it a lot. And this time is no exception. So I'm using some Halloween-themed jack-o'-lantern washi tape at the top and layering some black and gold starry washi tape underneath that, as well as adding a little piece of that next to my skeletal washi tape just to make things a little bit more interesting. And you'll see in a second that I kind of think that I might add this girl sticker there, but I decide to change my mind and instead add a skeleton sticker. And I am much happier with that result, because it's much spookier and much more Halloween themed. And I'm also using some scrapbooking paper for this spread. And the scrapbooking paper that I'm using is actually this kind of black and gold floral spidery scrapbooking paper, and I really, really liked it, and this is why I decided to go for a sort of vintage black and gold theme to begin with, to kind of match that scrapbooking paper. Under my title, I'm also writing a quote, and this is actually a very traditional Halloween quote, and it says, when witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, it's near Halloween. <laughs> and I really liked this quote. It's fun, it's sweet, it's definitely very Halloween themed. So yeah, I thought that it was perfect for this particular setup. And my final touch for this side of the spread was actually a wax seal. And I've been using those every once in a while, ever since I got them, which was actually fairly recent. And I decided that this spread needed one right there in the middle, because there was a little bit of empty space, and I thought that it would add a little bit of that vintage feel. And of course, the colors I went for in terms of the wax seal were black and gold to match my black and gold and vintage color scheme. On the right side of the spread, I'm using some more scrapbooking paper, actually from the same set, and I'm going to be using that for the title. And underneath that, I'm layering some more of that bony washi tape, just to give that spread a more spooky feel. And the bottom of the spread, I'm just decorating with that jack-o'-lantern and black and gold washi tape combination that I used earlier. And I really like that combination, so I'm actually going to be using that for the rest of the setup a lot. And for my next spread, I'm starting off with some more scrapbooking paper. And I'm going to be using that piece on the left for my title.
and I also added a fairly large piece of that sort of spidery scrapbooking paper to the right hand side of the spread just to decorate that spread. And this spread is my highlight spread, so for this spread I'm just going to be writing down all of the best moments from the month of October. And I'm decorating this spread a little bit more with some more of that bony washi tape, of course. Couldn't, you know, get away without it because of the uh, creepy factor. And a little bit more of that jack-o'-lantern washi tape and some more of that black and gold starry washi tape. And that was pretty much it. It came out fairly simple, but I still really like it. <laughs> and moving on to my next spread, which is my health review and my mood review spread. And here I wrote the titles on sort of opposite sides of the spread, just to, I don't know, change things up a little bit. And I'm also decorating that spread with some more of that scrapbooking paper with the uh, spidery pattern. And I also kind of put those papers on opposite sides of the spread, again, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And I'm layering some more of that bony washi tape underneath on the right side of the spread. And I'm also just adding a few pieces of that jack-o'-lantern washi tape to decorate the spread a little bit more and add a little bit more color. And my final touch for the spread was actually just a few more small pieces of that bony washi tape, except for the fact that the pieces I chose didn't really have much bone on them. But I liked the idea of kind of ripping it in half down the middle because I thought that it gave the spread a very vintage feel. So that was pretty much it. And moving on to the next spread, which is my self-care goals and my negative to positive spread. And I decided to emphasize the word positive there by putting it on a piece of scrapbooking paper because I thought that that was a fairly important word. And I wanted to emphasize that rather than the negative word. that, I decorated the spread with some more of that jack-o'-lantern washi tape for that Halloween feel, as well as some more of that black and gold washi tape, and of course, another piece of that bony washi tape for, you know, the creepiness. <laughs> For my last spread, I used another piece of that bony washi tape, but this time it didn't have any of the bony portions on it, right in the empty space between my titles, just to kind of fill that in. And I also added some more of that scrapbooking paper to fill in some of the empty space on the left-hand side of the spread. And after that, it was just kind of me decorating the spread with a little bit more washi tape while keeping it fairly simple because, I don't know, I was kind of feeling that vibe for this spread. And that is actually it for this setup. It's a little bit simpler, I guess, but I still really like how it came out, and I really like the kind of spooky, vintagey vibes. Anyways, let me know what you think, and if you have any particular fun, spooky plans for the month of October or for Halloween. I really hope that you have a good fall and spooky season, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!